Hi guys, happy Friday. Today is April 12th and it's 8.50 in the morning. Um, I'm running just a few really quick errands and then I'm gonna go home and use the day to study for my perio exam this upcoming week. That's kind of it. That's the only plan I have for the day. We will go to the gym at some point and I think Austin and I kind of want to go on a little date night and get like froyo or something this evening, but no set plans on that. So I'll keep you guys posted. But yeah, I'll see you guys in a bit when I'm back home and ready to study. I was literally at the hardware store just now with Austin and I'm wearing like a backless shirt and it freaking broke. So I don't like have a backup shirt in here. Is that something people keep in their cars? Like I don't. All right, a little bit of a chaos video there for you guys, but I will check in with you guys in just a little bit. guys happy Sunday today is April 14th and it is currently one o'clock in the afternoon and we are spending the rest of the afternoon outside because it is finally a really nice weekend here um, and I brought all my school stuff I'm about to get some notes done and start studying for this perio exam but yeah that's kind of what we're doing right now Good morning, everybody. It is the start of a new week. Today is Monday, April 15th. We are halfway through the month, which is so crazy. And um, it is currently 7.16 in the morning. And I just parked at school. Today is clinical theory and dental materials. We have a new lecture in both of those classes. And um, what can I tell you guys? I spent all day yesterday outside which was so nice and then at around 10 o'clock Austin and I turned on the TV for just like an episode of whatever and during that time I edited more photos from my gallery that I shot on Saturday which was a pregnancy announcement um, I have a wedding this Saturday the 20th that I'm shooting and I just never like going into a wedding with any galleries that still need to be sent out. So I'm just trying to get this one completed and sent out to my couple before Saturday. Guys, we're so close to the end of the semester. I am losing steam. I'm feeling so insanely anxious about these upcoming finals. I feel like all of the information from the semester is completely lost. I feel like every time I complete an exam, all the info just like gets discarded from my brain, seriously. I'm just running out of storage space and these finals are freaking me out so bad. I'm really hoping that we'll get study guides for all of them. Um, that would be amazing. 
you don't need to know all the information you just need to know enough so yeah anyways um i'm gonna probably just go inside and edit some more photos since i'm here early and wait for my professor and all my other classmates to get here and i'll bring you guys along afterwards i'll tell you how my classes went and then um the rest of my day is definitely going to be spent studying for perio so yeah that's kind of how my day is lining up to go yeah i hope that you guys have a good monday and i will check in with you guys in a little bit hi guys it is still monday and it's 12 30 right now and i just got done having a little um coffee date with my second year she found out this weekend that she passed the NBDAG. I'm so proud of her. Wow. I'm just like, I can't believe that's going to be me in a year. I'm like so in awe and inspired by her. It's insane. But she passed and everything that she went through in this program is worth it. She's going to be graduating in just a few weeks and going on and you know, being a hygienist and saving people one tooth at a time, I'm just like really proud of her. So we got together and just had a little chat. I walked out of there feeling a lot more like comfortable with what's to come, which is really good because I feel like in this program, you never know anything. So that's kind of my only update. Um, so I'll check in with you guys later. Hi guys, happy Tuesday. Today is April 16th and it's currently um, nine o'clock in the morning and I am at the library right now and Jordan actually drove up here and we're doing a little study day because tomorrow is our third exam in Perio. Um, I will definitely take some videos and include you guys on this study day, but as of right now, we're just going through a Quizlet together, asking each other like question after question, and then we're taking notes on things that we need to like review afterwards. So that's kind of how it's going right now, and I think we're going to be staying here until about two-ish. Um, so yeah, that's kind of what's happening today, just getting ready for this exam tomorrow. So I'll check back in with you guys later. happy Wednesday today is Wednesday April 17th and it's currently 8 10 in the morning and I just parked at school today is oral pathology and periodontics in oral pathology we are starting to present our final projects it's gonna be this week and next and so today the entire class is going to be one half of the presentations and then next week the second half um, my partner and I are presenting next week but yeah so that's all I have to look forward to in class today and then um, in perio today is my final exam before the final exams so i guess the wording was a little off but today's my third exam and it's the last exam before finals begin it's at home and we like unanimously decided to push the exam back to allow for um people who are going to be here this morning to be able to drive and get home on time so the exam is at home at three o'clock this afternoon so I'm feeling a little nervous, but after my study day at the library yesterday with Jordan, I definitely feel a lot better than when I walked into the library. You know what I mean? I just want to get it over with. I'm definitely ready for this semester to be over. I'm counting down and I'm so anxious about finals. My like mood and irritability and sleep schedule and anxiety just all of it is so messed up right now because finals are so soon I think the fact that they're cumulative is just like such a shock because I feel like I don't remember anything but yeah I gotta after today after I finish this exam I'm gonna start like assigning specific days for specific classes to start studying for finals they're coming up so soon and I have a wedding this Saturday that I'm photographing and it's two hours away so I really will end up missing my entire day of like 
study time so I just want to make sure I'm using like my other available days efficiently but yeah that's my plan um what else can I tell you guys I don't really have anything else to let you guys know about but that's kind of what's going on today so I'll check back in with you guys after oral path and I will let you guys know how my exam goes this afternoon the grade I get should be like my final grade for it so I'll be able to let you guys know how I did but yeah that's kind of that's kind of it so I hope that you guys have a great Wednesday and I'll check in with you guys in a little bit hello hi guys hi again um i'm gonna put in a little clip of something that happened when i got into my car after class today because i want to explain why i'm doing my little like check-in with you guys from home so here's the clip here is some reality tv for you guys to witness and then i'll explain afterwards Email. Give me one second. Okay, um, I need to know your first and last name and what state you're calling from. No, no, no. I didn't say. I didn't say who you're calling with. I said, who are you? Because I already know that you, who's trying to commit fraud right now, do you want to prove to me otherwise? If I were you, I would hang up and not call me again. Literally, the way that you're answering me right now is showcasing that you're not somebody I should be talking to. <sighs> Oof, if he calls me again, I'm not freaking kidding. I'm gonna lose my... Okay, you guys, so you just watched that little video of me literally freaking out on someone on the phone. I don't remember if I told you guys, but about a month ago, I had some fraudulent activity with my bank account and it was legit and it sucked. And I don't know if you've ever had that happen. I actually have had that happen like in the past in my life before, but it happened again. And um, when I got on the phone with a Wells Fargo representative at that time, we placed what is that called like um we placed like little flags on all of those payments and then they had to the bank had to dispute them and give me the money back because at that time somebody did end up taking maybe a total of like a grand out of my account and it was actually all in new york and all on food so it was quite interesting um everything went well with the disputes i got the money back all is good in the world i got a new card that was a headache but i did get a new card everything's fine last friday when i was home studying with my girlfriend stevie i get a text message from wells fargo saying that there's fraudulent activity on my account and that a wells fargo representative was going to be in touch with me shortly a little bit later i get a phone call I am thinking it's a Wells Fargo representative. He's confirming some details about my account. He's asking me how much money down to the penny is in this account, how much money down to the penny is in this account, what are the last four digits of this account number. Like he's just asking a lot of questions and I'm talking to him for about 15 minutes and that fraudulent activity was him telling me that there was an $18,000 Zelle payment pending and it was gonna go out. It was like gonna, um, the transaction was gonna be complete in 12 minutes. He was like, he kept saying 12 minutes, 11 minutes, like he was like counting down. And then he said that there was another Zelle transaction from my checking account for $3,000. So I was gonna be losing over $20,000 in 11 minutes and so I'm answering all of his questions as quick as I can I don't want that to happen blah 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 and then he asks me to confirm my card number and I walk over to my desk over here because my wallet is over here and immediately I get a pit in my stomach I feel like something's off I I just feel it us women we freaking know you guys we know when something's going on I uh, he asks me a question about my card and instead of answering I go Sir, I really want you to confirm your identity. And he replies by saying, I know your identity and I know your address. And he's like telling me all of this info about me, which was such a vulnerable feeling. 
my like mama bear instinct came out so freaking hard because this man is telling me my address where my babies are he's telling me my phone number which he obviously called like he knows all this info about me and he knows info now that i've told him about all of my bank accounts and he's not giving me any information back when I ask him to confirm his identity. And so I kind of start getting a little feisty with him. And I'm like, I'm sorry, but I need you to like do something to make me believe that you're actually a Wells Fargo representative because I don't feel secure right now. Um, don't you think that the person who's trying to like submit these fraudulent transactions would have this information about me too how can i know that it's not you and his response was okay i'm gonna prove it to you by calling you back right now and having the phone number match the wells fargo number on the back of your card and i was like okay also, I should mention that during that phone call with him, he like gave me a case number. He told me he was going to transfer me to a girl. He gave me like a name of the girl that he's going to transfer me to, um, which is the fraudulent department so that I could start a case. He even told me that he was going to get me in touch with the authorities to like press charges. Like he was very like real and raw. He made me feel very secure as somebody who was feeling like my security was broken into, you know? Long story short, when he hung up, I didn't even wait for him to call me back, like to prove it. I mean, I did, I didn't use my phone. I grabbed Austin's phone and I called the number on the back of my freaking Wells Fargo card. And I, when, when the Wells Fargo representative was like, hi, can I have your card number? I literally was like, I'm not giving you anything because I don't feel safe right now. I just need you to look up this case number and tell me if it's real. And if it's not real, I will give you anything you need to know and we'll move forward. And she was like, oh my God, okay. And so I gave her this case number that he gave me, not real. I worked with her for over 45 minutes, changing my username, changing my password, just starting to get a little bit of like, security back within myself and my bank account information it was just a really frustrating scenario it was a very like unreal Ugh, it was just not fun okay but she did confirm that there was no fraudulent activity which is great everything's fine i changed my username i changed my password everything's good what you saw today was my fourth phone call from this number. I answer the phone. It's a guy that sounds just like the guy from Friday. Um, I'm asking him to confirm his identity. He keeps responding saying that $3,000 was coming out of my Zelle in 10 minutes. This transaction's gonna go through. You don't wanna just keep going. And I'd be like, you're not answering my questions. I need to know who you are. And he was horrible. I literally was like, I don't feel safe giving you any information. You're not confirming your identity to me. You're not answering my questions. And he was literally replying with like, I know where you live. I know your phone number. This money's coming out. You should follow directions or you're going to lose all this money. Just horrible. So I'm sorry that you guys had to see me get a little spicy, but I am just in a position right now where I have been in a threatening place in my life before with my previous marriage, a very unsafe, threatening environment, and I am not going back. And I'm not saying relationship-wise. Austin, are you kidding? I have to beg this man to, like, swat a fly. I obviously know that I'm fine at home. But having this person that I don't know just, like, betraying my, like, security and, like, I don't even know how to word it. It's a shitty feeling. I'm sorry for cussing. I'm very heated and very upset that this is continuing to happen. And um, I just wanted to showcase to you guys like why that little video occurred and why I'm giving you my little after class update from home. So moving on. I'm so sorry. That's that's the story. We're going to drop it. I'm okay. Like I might need to like move states and change my phone number. But as of right now, I'm okay. We're going to leave it there. Okay, so oral pathology was good today. We had presentations. We had a lot of snacks. I have zero self-control when it comes to snacks and sweets. So I definitely ate everything I wanted to eat. And the presentations were great. My classmate is so fun. I 
classmates, sorry, my whole cohort is so fun. Like everyone did a great job. I think that we all kind of hate presentations like this. Group projects just suck ass. And we have so many other things that we're focused on throughout the semester that these final projects are just so freaking annoying. But either way, all of them were amazing that perf that like uh, presented today and it got me excited to present next week and get it over with but now I'm back home it's 12 30 my exam for perio is at three o'clock I'm going to sit here I'm going to grab some snacks and then I'm going to sit here and like study for a little bit and then take my exam I'll let you guys know how that goes and yeah that's my little update. I'm so sorry that was long. I just wanted you guys to like be aware of what happened. And also hopefully this helps you guys feel a little bit more like apprehensive. Seriously, I hope that this scares you. If you get a phone call about some fraudulent activity on your bank account or anything and you feel off about it, you freaking hang up, okay, you guys? hang up the phone and you personally dial the number to your bank or whatever the situation is. Make sure that you're in control of situations like that because this feeling is really crappy, but I'm like, I'm a tough cookie, but I used to not be. And so if you're out there and you believe in humanity and that people are good, please listen to me, stay a little on your toes. Okay, you guys, just be a little bit more apprehensive, take care of your own security and your own life and your own stuff. I am here for you. I love you all, and I'll talk to you guys in a little bit. Babe, can you turn up your headphones so that you don't hear me? I'm like, I'm like about to leave, though. Can you wait like five minutes and then I'll just leave? Why are you leaving in five minutes? Well, let me get a sour candy first, and then I'll do that. Can I have one? Yeah. Okay, do you want green or yellow? I don't care. Thank you. You're welcome. Okay, I can't hear you anymore. Okay. <laughs> we just got done with my third perio exam. And I thought it was really hard. I thought it was really tricky. We are definitely getting to a point in this program where we are or like should be able to correctly assess a patient and diagnose them correctly. A lot of the questions were like info about a patient and their gingiva and their interdental clinical attachment loss and their radiographic bone loss, just a bunch of stuff like that. And then the answer was to diagnose them correctly. So I thought it was really hard. I thought that exam was very tricky, definitely more difficult than the last one. And when my grade popped up at the end, I was very proud of myself. So I am going to celebrate this grade as a win and ride this high. I ended up getting an 89% on that exam. I'm very happy and I am done. All I have left is finals. So yeah. That's how that went. So I'll check back in with you guys later. <laughs>
is getting five bonus points um, in one of our classes for attending. And so I think I'll definitely see quite a few of my classmates there. But yeah, that's kind of all that's going on today. So I'm gonna go get some studying done and just like hang out for a bit and I'll check back in with you guys later. I hope that you're having a great Thursday and yeah, we'll talk soon.